hi guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm super excited for today's video i've been wanting to film it for about a week but i was waiting on one more thing to come in and it's here so this is my happy mail slash birthday haul and my birthday was on march 5th and thank you guys you know so much to everyone who wished me a happy birthday um i really appreciated it like more than you know what i have here is just some stuff that i received for my birthday and I'm super just grateful for all the people in my life who gifted me this stuff. Um, and I just wanted to shout them out and share my new stuff with you guys. So let's start with the small stuff, I guess. So this first thing is an acrylic block. And believe it or not, I didn't have one of these. But I got this for my stamps that I just got from the Honeybee Shop from the Crafty at Heart Babe Box. So these are clear stamps and they're like sticky on the back. And so I haven't played around with it too, too much. But what you do is you just like peel one of these off of this sheet and then you stick it right here on the block. And then you just dab it in your ink and press it onto your page. So I didn't have one of these before um, because stamping is like super, super new to me. So I definitely am going to have some videos coming up on that and my, you know, uh, trials and tribulations with stamping because I'm sure there's going to be some failures, but you know, that's how you learn. So yeah, just a simple acrylic block. Got it at Joann's and my parents got this for me. They gave me money and I picked out what I wanted. Um, and then I also got this at Joann and this I had seen all over Instagram and I just, I didn't like go out searching for it, but I happened to just see it when I was at Joanne. And this color is like my favorite color ever. And I just, I had to have it. Um, and so it is a dye and pigment ink fusion. Don't ask me exactly what it is. I'm going to show you a result of it in a few minutes here. Um, but it is a type of ink that I am using in my new art journal, which I will get to, but I really, really like it. And then I have this ink, and this I'm using for my stamps, actually. It's really pretty. So it's this, like, it has a blue, a purple, and a red, sort of red. It's kind of like pink. Um, and so you could, obviously, if you have a small stamp, you can just do blue or just do purple or just do this reddish pink. Or if you have a larger stamp, you can really make it like an ombre. And it's really pretty. I have really enjoyed it so far. Again, I haven't really played too much with the stamps yet, but I'm getting into it. And then this, I feel the need to talk about this a little bit, uh, j just kind of briefly. So if you've been around for a while, uh, you will remember Planner Geddon back last June. It was a whole thing. If you weren't here for it, um, I'm happy for you. Like, I'm envious because it was a whole ass mess. But what I'll say is that I stepped back for a little bit and was not purchasing from the Happy Planner. Um, and I've really, I've really been trying to support small shops and I am still doing that. However, I am not against if and again, if you saw my happy planner reaction video that I just did, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Personally, I think it's pretty funny. I just gave my raw, like honest reactions. And that's something that this time last year, I would not have felt comfortable doing because I was in the, uh, hate to use the C word, but I like to think of it as a cult. I was kind of in the cult mentality of you have to use happy planner and you can only use happy planner exclusively and you're not a planner girl you are a happy planner and I'm not that anymore but I am comfortable using happy planner products and so this was actually the first time I have bought something from the happy planner since April 2020 I know it's been a very long time I actually hadn't purchased anything prior to planner getting in June but um because you know I was really just trying to use up what I already had and you know save money on planner stuff but when I saw this on clearance so this was $9.97 and I had a 25% off of clearance coupon so I got this for you know if you want to do the math you can go right ahead I ain't doing it but <laughs> I remember seeing this book when it came out and just really liking it now I've already torn into it I used a little bit of it for uh this week's spread which I'm going to put on the screen right now I did a green spread for St. Patty's Day but it's just, I don't know, it's just got a lot of, like, good stuff in it. Like, today's been canceled. Um, I'm glad it's the thought that counts because I spent all day thinking about the stuff I should be doing. 
Life is too short for fake butter, cheese, or people. I love that. Heck yeah. And then LOL no. Like just, I don't know. It just cracks me up. There's a lot of like, uh, <laughs> no. So there's some, there's some good stuff in here. Some of it is a little bit cringy. Some of it's really cute. Um, I like this no fox given. I like that one a lot. And uh, classy would I cuss just a little? Absolutely. Well, I don't think I'm classy at all. Um, they say the best things take time. That's why I'm always late. You know, I just, I like it. And for the price, I absolutely could not pass this up. Now, this was the real find. So you should have seen me. So I'm in there. There's like this giant clearance section. It's like kind of a corner. And it was all Happy Planner stuff. And it was like older stuff. Like I recognize it as like older stuff they're trying to get rid of. When I saw this Stargazer sticker pad, I almost screamed. Unfortunately, it was the only one. It was the only Stargazer one. Now they had about 18,000 of these Encourager ones, which are also very cute. But this one, y'all. So I never had a chance to get any of the Stargazer stuff. You can see I already used one. But like the purple foil? Are you serious? Yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then it has this pink foil. It also has some blue in here. Oh my god. It is so pretty. I like, I just kind of want to hoard it. But yeah, you see it was $2.47. And again, I had a 25% off coupon. Not just one clearance item. All clearance so I got this for like it was insanely cheap and then I also got this one from the encourager happy planner girl line and I don't believe I've used any of this yet but I think it's really really cute um yeah it's just very cute when I'm in that mood for the more like girly spread it's big like you know babes support babes kind of vibes strong intelligent pretty girl support girls I just Choose kind over cool. Just, I don't know. I really like it. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to use it, but I couldn't pass up the price. Like, are you kidding? Okay, this is, like, totally random. This is the last thing I got at Joann's. Um, it looks dirty. I, I just use it. So, this is just what I use for, uh, this ink here. So, it's just a little, like, round stamper thing. And it works really well. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna put all this stuff in the description. Full disclosure, I do not have, like, discount codes or I won't get any kind of kickback from the links because I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big enough influencer yet for that kind of thing. But I will put this stuff in the description uh, in case you guys are interested in purchasing it. Okay, I'm going to do this. There's something in here. Now, I've had, I've had this pouch. This pouch, by the way, is from Rose Bunny Studios on Etsy. Why did I just say it like that? Etsy. On Etsy. <laughs> And you should definitely uh, check out Gina's shop. So Gina is an incredibly talented business owner and she makes these planner pouches. And they are so soft, incredibly good quality. So this one I actually originally bought for my B6TN, but there's something different in it now that fits perfectly. Um, also, quick shout out to these buttons on here. So I just got these three. And I got these at box lunch. Um, my parents also, with the money they gave me, got these. Uh, this is from the Pixar movie Soul. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. Uh, it says my sole purpose is pizza. And then we got Nook's Homes, Customizations and Expansions. Obviously Animal Crossing. And then Anxiety Club member since forever. Yes, this is from Life is Strange. I got this at some MAGFest some year. Can't even tell you. And also got this at MAGFest, and I absolutely adore it. It's a little NES cartridge of Mario 3. Okay. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for what's in here? I don't think you are. Tell me this is not the most Cassie thing you have ever seen in your life. Okay. Okay. I just need to take a minute. We just need to just take a minute to just, like, look at this. Okay. If you don't know, this is an Archer and Olive notebook. And my beautiful, wonderful, 
amazing, talented friend, Queen, from Queen's Fancy Plans. You need to go check her out on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel here. She also has a beauty channel called Queen Gem Beauty. She's also on Instagram. She's Queen's Fancy Plans over there. She also has Queen Gem Beauty over there. She also has a planner podcast called Fancy Plans and Things Radio. You should go check that out. It's on Spotify, Apple, everything. So just head over to her Instagram. She also has an Instagram for her podcast, Fancy Plans and Things Radio. She does so much stuff. She's an amazing content creator and an amazing friend. And she got this for me. And when I say I just like cried, look at the, look at that. <sighs> okay. So you're probably thinking, Cassie, why did you get another notebook? You do not need another notebook. What the hell are you going to do with that? Well, oh, oh, we're not ready for that yet. Hold on. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it. And I wrote this in here. I'm pretty proud of how it came out. I've been working on my hand lettering skills thanks to Shan from Honeybee Shop and her little brush lettering guide. I'm really trying. But, so this first page I haven't done anything yet. I haven't decided what I want for like my intro page. But, I did my first art journaling spread. Okay? Now, it's not the best in the world. Okay, and I am, you know, I'm no artist, but I really love how this came out. And I went into it, you know, I've been inspired to start art journaling. Um, I've been inspired by a lot of people, but um, particularly Shauna Klingerman. Um, and I'll put all this information in the description, but she is just, she's an amazing artist and she's very open and honest about her mental health struggles and how art journaling has helped her and she just I just consume her content and get ideas of ways that I can do it you know you don't need to be some incredible artist to create an art journal and you guys will see that so this was actually the first spread that I did and then I did an art journaling spread in my MCR B6TN if you haven't seen that I'll put that in the description too um but I did this first and I just wanted something since I got this for my birthday, um, just something to kind of celebrate me. And I felt a little weird doing it at first. Like, oh, is this like really like self-centered and like, you know, egotistical or, or whatever. But I was like, no, it's my birthday. I want to celebrate me and reasons for me to love myself. So I just kind of went in, no plan, just just went in and so the background here the purple you see how it's kind of like circles here that's what I use this for so I use this with this ink and that's how I created this background and then I have this torn paper I actually um I filmed a video when I got this big like pack of paper at Walmart forever ago and I wasn't really sure at that time what I was going to use it for other than just like general memory keeping but it worked out so great for this. I love the texture that it gives. Um, there's just, I love all different textures. And then you have this one up here. And I'll put that, um, I'll link to that as well. I'll put it in a card in, in the description so you can see um, all the different papers that came in that. It was such a good deal and I just found it randomly at Walmart. But I just love the way it turned out. I found an old picture of me and this picture is right after I got my hair done. And this is funny because this was last year, literally like two days before it was declared a pandemic. And I had just gotten my hair done. I felt so pretty. I felt like a badass. I just, I loved it. I loved my makeup, my hair. I was just feeling myself. So I put that in there. And then, oh, that's what I forgot. I got a paint pen. Um, Sorry, I forgot to show the paint pen. Glitter paint marker. Uh, I also got this at Joanne and that's what I use for love here and also for these words you can see how shiny and glittery it is and this sticker was from this uh stargazer sticker pad here um and then washi from honeybee shop and then i have some stickers from a um from a happy planner sticker book here i can't uh the botanicals book that's it this is from shine sticker studio um this washi is some random washi i don't even know where i got it these were some leftover scraps that I had from an acetate that came with one of the bait boxes from Honeybee Shop. Um, and so I just 
you know, it was just fun. It was fun to make and yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I won't go on too long about this, but that's all I've done so far, but this is going to be my art journal. But here's what I want to show y'all, okay? So you see, I used ink, I used paint markers, I have glue under here, I did all this. And then look at the very next page, okay? I'm not skipping pages, this is the next page. Nothing, no ghosting, nothing. You can't even tell that there's a bunch of paint and stuff over here. So that's why I was so excited to have my first Archer and Olive notebook. I love Archer and Olive as a company. Um, if you don't know anything about Archer and Olive, you should just look into it because they're incredible. Oh my god, I didn't even realize there's a pocket. I didn't even know there's a pocket back here. Well, now I know. Um, wow, that's freaking amazing. So yeah, Archer and Olive, incredible, incredible notebooks. Great quality, great company. Um, and then you'll see here, you have like your little page marker, but then you also have this one. And this one has the little Archer and Olive logo. There's a cat hair on my hand, just... It's inevitable. And then you have a pen loop. And this little strap. So, Queen, thank you so much. This means the world to me. And now I am, like, a complete, like, I fully, I want, like, 18,000 Archer and Olive notebooks now. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. So there's one more thing before I get into this. And that is something that my mom and I actually picked up at the container store. So if you've never been to a container store, it's a little um, overwhelming. Like you step in the front door and you're like, um, I don't even know like where to begin. But I ended up finding, actually my mom is the one who brought it up. Like, hey, didn't you see online that they have those things for your planner cart? And I was like, oh my God, I found this attachment for my planner cart, okay? It has changed the game. So it hooks right onto the side. Because originally I thought about getting a larger planner cart and like expanding, you know, I'm like, oh, this cart isn't big enough, but all I really needed was to utilize the space on the side. So now I have hooks on there. I can hang, you know, all like my scissors. I can hang my ruler, my little Cricut tools, my tape. Um, I can put magnets on it, my little planner bands, like just, it holds everything. And there's so much room to like expand. And that is, that might be my favorite thing that I've purchased the entire day my mom and I went out. Um, it's just incredible. I love it. So yeah, shout out Container Store. Okay. So if you know, you know, this is that Honey Bee Shop packaging. And my beautiful friend, Olwen, got me a gift card to the Honey Bee Shop for my birthday. And I almost cried. Uh, she sent me a very, well, I did cry. She sent me a very sweet message um, in an email along with a Honey Bee Shop gift card because she pays attention and knows how much I love the Honey Bee Shop. And uh, it meant the world to me for her to get me a gift card. So I placed an order. And um, thank you, Olwen, for for doing that. You did not have to do that. Um, you know, I just, I love you and I appreciate you. So we're going to see what Olin got for me. Okay. We can get it all out of here. Oh my God. Okay. Here's our order. So the first thing I got here were some bat bow and skeleton hands, uh, blackout seals. And these are just super cute. They're obviously like they're seals. They're meant for sealing letters and you know, happy mail. But you can also just use these as stickers in your planner. You know, that's that's really all it is, is a sticker. So you don't have to use it as a seal, but look how pretty it is. I mean, if I got Happy Mail with that on it, it would just make my day. So I probably will include it with some Happy Mail. So yes, these are very, very pretty. Love them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I forgot I got that. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, let's get into this. So I actually don't tear off this because I like to reuse these pouches. So let's see what I got here. Oh man. Okay, first thing is a adorable felty paper clip and this is 
A bag of bells from Animal Crossing. I've been really into Animal Crossing. I said I wasn't going to get addicted. Here we are. So anyway, this is freaking adorable. Um, and I thought this would be great in my little video game theme, B6TN. And uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Oh my god! And then I got this die cut that is obviously Animal Crossing as well. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the balloon with, oh my god, I love it. So yeah, this is also going in my video game B6TN. And then we have Spooky Bitch. Oh my god, I love this so much. So this is a clear sticker from what I remember. Yep, it's clear. So this is going to go um, on my catch-all on the cover because I have a clear cover with a bunch of clear stickers on it. And this will be perfect for that. Oh my gosh. Too busy catching bees and chopping trees. And then it's got this beautiful babe here playing Switch. She's got her Animal Crossing socks on. Oh my god. So, so cute. I love it. You got Forever Alone with good old Tom Nook here. Always keeping you in debt. Um, yeah, just, just love it. Oh my god. I've been wanting this forever. And I almost ordered it like right when it came out, but I didn't. And now I did. Now I have it. So, um, yeah. If you know, you know, Funko Pops is another just kind of addicting thing. Um, I do not buy them nearly as much as I used to when I was in my early 20s. However, I will always love my Funko Pops. And I just thought this was adorable. Tattoo Planner Babe. And it says plan. Like, Shan, this is too cute. Oh my god. I love, I love this. I love this so much. So this is Tattoo Babe version of Hades from Hercules. And I just absolutely freaking love it. I think she is just amazing. I just, she's so pretty. Hercules is one of my top favorite Disney movies. And just having a female, like a femme Hades, just absolutely love it. Oh man, this is the little mystery freebie blind bag that you get with every order. Yes, I don't have this one. It's the hoarding planner supplies for me. Oh my god, I don't have that one. Yes. So, so, so pretty. And then we have a crafty at heart. So you always get just a random journaling card with every order. And I actually already have uh, this journaling card, so I will pass this along and with some happy mail. But super cute. I, I love it. I love that Crafty at Heart box. Okay, so I caved. I've been resisting this freaking notebook for uh, forever. And I finally said, you know what, Cass? It's your birthday. So thank you, Owen, because I probably wouldn't have bought this for myself. Yeah, gorgeous moth design. And oh my god, black paper! Yes! Black dot grid paper and this is b6 size so i think it'll go okay in my b60n it's spiral but i think it'll still fit in there and if not i really just wanted just a notebook with black paper uh, that sounds like like duh um but i've been wanting a notebook to actually start a podcast if you guys don't know and i just wanted like a little notebook that's separate from my planner to just like jot down things and notes, you know, either before what, before I record or, you know, during recording. I just wanted a small little notebook to kind of keep there next to me that's separate from, like, my big planner. And I just, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, look at it. So, yeah, very excited. And I love writing on black paper. It is so satisfying. I have several gel pens that show up on black paper. And yeah, this is just perfect. Oh, one more thing that I got that I, actually two more things that I don't have here in front of me, but I will insert pictures. Just want to give a shout out. My husband got me Persona 5 Strikers, which is an amazing game, a game I really wanted, and he got it for me. Um, so thank you very much, babe. And then one of my best friends, James, got me an amazing Agretzko shirt. I am obsessed. I've never seen this shirt before. 
And if you've seen season three of Agresco, the whole OTM girls thing, I just, the idol group, I just, I love it. It cracks me up. And he got me a shirt with OTM girls and it's just, it's awesome. So shout out to y'all. Thank you for those gifts as well. And yeah, that is it guys. So thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful to everyone who, you know, contributed and made my birthday amazing. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so excited to start using this stuff and to decorate my video game player. Oh my god, look at it. To use up more of these stickers, to use this notebook, to, you know, create more in my art journal. Thank you again, Queen. I am just, I, I can't deal with it. It is so pretty. I just can't even deal with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Um, I'm also going to have links for everything in the description. My new podcast, Pixels and Planners, is out. I'll be doing a new episode every other week on Saturdays. Um, so be sure to check that out. It's available on Spotify, on Anchor, uh, Google Podcasts. I'm working on getting it on Apple Podcasts. We're getting there. It's on all different uh, platforms. So uh, thank you for your support. And I'll have my Instagram link all that good stuff in the description. My Patreon, I also launched a Patreon. Uh, I kind of launched it and ran. I didn't really like, I kind of just like wanted to get it out there and I haven't really promoted it. So um, I don't have any patrons yet, but uh, we'll get there. I just, you know, just wanted to go ahead and get that created. So anyway, that's enough. Uh, that's enough rambling. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.